or wave two, I mean, uh, wave three here is going to be maybe a hydralisk, and wave four is going to be a roach. Make sure you don't click on the burrowed version of them um, that are right beside the icons. Right beside the roach icon is burrowed version. Um, and the last thing, maybe I'll put an ultralisk in there. Those, those seem pretty deadly. Um, so now we have our wave types defined. And some other little minor stuff we want to do is, oops, is make the um, map completely visible uh, for all the players. So I'm just going to do it for player one here. Um, function entire map. That's good. Save it. Just be safe. And I copy paste triggers and then just modify them. I find that quicker than going right click new element every time. Uh, anyways, so what we're doing is setting a player resource here. Modify player one minerals set to one. Um, and we need to, this is just a minor thing, well not minor actually, but you need to pan the camera to click on the bracket here to the um, starting unit because otherwise it's kind of disorienting. Don't yeah, you gotta not forget to um, bring your player right to the action at the start. So player one to position of, and we can go to value here. And our builder's here, but if you didn't know which, there might be multiple units placed on the map. So you go to choose, you can click them, and then you press Q on your keyboard, and then it would have them selected. Uh, over zero seconds because we want it to be right from the game start um, with value 100% velocity so it doesn't waste any time and 0% deceleration that's good and um, so now what comes next what I have in my notes here is to do the leaderboard next so why don't we do that um, we're gonna make a new global variable which is gonna just be called leaderboard you can call it whatever you want and its type is going to be a leaderboard so now if I go to init and new uh, action, leaderboard, create leaderboard, uh, create a leaderboard with two columns and three rows. You'll see why later. Um, with name simple TD. Oops, don't hit enter. Uh, okay, and copy paste. And let's change this to leaderboard um, set item text. So set last create item text at column one and row one to um, function player name of player name of player one. Okay so our player one's name is on the leaderboard and let's set at column one column two sorry and row one um, to just be a simple zero. So that's going to be the kills, the kills field, but uh, it's going to start at zero. And another thing we want to do here, it's just a minor touch, is, oops, is to set the leaderboard text color at at the player spot to be function conversion, convert player color to color, color of player one. So now it, the color of that player's name will be red or whatever color player one is. Um, and we want to uh, show the leaderboard to everybody. So let's show show all leaderboards for all players. And we want to do this so that we can reference our leaderboard later. Um, we want to set a variable. And that variable will be our global leaderboard variable. So we go set variable leaderboard and set it to la last last create a leaderboard there. So now our leaderboard variable up here will reference this one we just made. And another thing we need to do now is start our first wave. So uh, I'm going to add a new new global variable called um, time until wave. And it's just going to be an integer, zero initially. And here let's set it to uh, set it to maybe maybe eight seconds it's just well eight I mean not seconds but eight so I guess the first wave can come in eight seconds but um, in your map you might want to do it longer 
or give them more warning sort of thing. Uh, I'm just going to do it quick for now. And copy paste and let's change this to general weight. Weight and we want to change this to our variable. Oops. Um, because our variable is an integer and weight depends on a decimal value, a real number, we need to actually do a conversion, convert integer to real and then find our time until wave. Oh, blah blah is still there. I should get rid of that. So that's why I paused there when I was trying to find our variable because it was an integer and not a real. You could just make it a real, but I just use integers. I like it better. Um, game time seconds is fine. And after the, that, what we need to just quickly do is make a new trigger called spawn waves. And we'll make it initially off. So now we go back here new action or you could just do the copy paste thing I always do trigger run trigger and we want to run spawn waves ignore conditions and that's good let's save so let's go to spawn waves uh, no events or anything because it's just going to be run from other triggers um, we are going to just create the units so we go down to units create uh, units facing angles and before we make set the amount we want to make another global variable which is our current wave number and in here we want to create um, however many units you want I mean um, I'm just gonna do five for now you can change it based on wave you could make some you know you could do function uh, arithmetic and do wave number plus one or something make it get harder and harder or just use five each time um, that's generally what we do in tower defenses and unit so here instead of actually picking a specific unit you just pick your variable waves types and the number here will be our variable as well which is current wave number so current wave number is initially zero so and wave type zero is drone so the the first wave that comes through will be wave types 0 which is going to be our drone and it'll keep working so this little this little initialization stuff here allows uh, this part to be very quick and easy um, and we want it to be for player 2 who's the evil creep player at center of region which is here center of spawn region facing whatever degrees that's fine and okay we need to do the other next thing we need to do is issue an order to move so order issue order to unit group and order units in uh, unit group unit last created units to and click on the bracket here if you click on this you'll only get abilities for no target and it took me a while to figure out that if you actually click on the bracket here um, you want to actually target a point and you want to do the move command not the first one you want to do this one and move to um, center of a region center of uh, the end region there we go and whatever that's fine and the last thing we want to do is set our variable our wave number because we're modify variable actually will work fine it's you could do set variable and use arithmetic like I showed earlier using the math function or whatever but modify variable is just quicker so go modify uh, a variable current wave number t plus one so now our wave gets um, added by one 